Hello, welcome back to uh, Oracle tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss a very important concept about Oracle database. So before you uh, jump into the database concept, let's try to take a real life example. So in this real life example, what I am so going to show you is that uh, that uh, I recently read a book and this read, the book is about uh, Steve Jobs uh, autobiography. Okay, and then this book is about uh, 600 some pages. So 600 pages of material and then I read it I skim through it once and then I like certain areas where I want to read it okay so one of those area is about uh, in his uh, in his young age uh, he went to India and for some spiritual uh, for, for some something related to spiritualism and I want to know about I want to read about that uh, pages or I want to know about that chapters and then just go directly dive into that and then read about that so how do I do that one of my options is that I want to scan all these pages page by page page by page I start from page one and then I find out if there is something about India or something that what I'm looking for if not then I, I go to page two then page three and so on and somehow eventually I'm going to find out somewhere in maybe around page 200 uh, and after by doing this uh, steps okay and then uh, and then I'm done okay but do you think okay so what about like if i am going to search for a information which is available in page 599 okay in that case i'm going to scan the entire book and that is very expensive and it's very time consuming also that is not efficient so remember like you know so this problem has been solved by the author of this book because he wrote something called an index okay and this is what is about uh, you know uh, this this page is the index page of one of those uh, in one of one of the index pages okay and then and also another important thing he did he basically uh, ordered the order you know he, he put those keywords in a, or in a alphabetical order so that if I want to find out about India I go directly to the index pages which is in the very back of the page and then scan those things on an alphabetical order since I'm going to look for India definitely I'm going to look for anything related to a I just directly dive into I and then so here is I found out that there is something about uh, India okay and then I found out some more information that one is India and another is the pages page number 37 and page number 104 where I, I can find some related information about his about Steve Jobs involvement with India then what I did I directly go to the page number 37 and figure out what is going on there okay so that is why we create index that is why you know the book author has given you an index if he has not given you index no problem still the book is book but finding information is a little bit of difficult also almost unusable in certain cases that is the reason why he created index so now let's come back to our uh, our you know the, the the problem that we we face in oracle okay so let's say this is our employee table an employee table has you know a couple of rows right now let's say for example seven rows and then say employee number 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 okay so basically the question that i asked you okay, can you find out what is the employee record for employee number 50 then what you do whenever you you give this query what oracle does it because remember these are stored in the data blocks okay and this data block actually whatever you're showing whatever i'm showing here in this page is just a logical view but actually whatever the stored in the database in a very different way in one block is cons consists of employee number 10 somewhere else another block consists of employee number 20 okay so what essentially and then all of these blocks has a row id or row address and every, everybody has a row address so what is going to happen is that in this case oracle is going to look row by row the way that we are scanning the book page by page is going to row, is going to do this thing and then finally eventually figure out that employee number 50 is here and then it is going to fetch this record called 50 sam 6310 and 40 so whatever this complete record is going to fetch me okay so that is how it's going to do so this imagine like now this is just for seven rows uh, seven row table what about this table is 10 million rows okay so if it's 10 million rows then oracle is going to do the same process scanning this thing one by one 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 row after another row and then this query may takes a lot of longer time it makes makes maybe i don't know how it depends on what kind of hardware you're using and so on but definitely this is something that's not really usable by you okay so 
essentially what we are doing is that we are do this is this process of, uh, of of finding the data is called uh, you know is called full table scan full table scan okay so as you know in the book example so this full table scan needs to be avoided if you want to get the result in a in a in a, in a time that is something that that you you wish to get it okay so in order to do that what you do like the way that book analogy they created index so let's create an index okay so the, this is the problem and the solution here is that we are going to create an index and then now to do that, that to create an index we just give a SQL command called create index so this is what I showed you here so we are going to give a very simple command called create index index name what is the name of the index and then on which tab which table and which column you need to create an index so I'm just going to explain you exactly what's happening internally so if I give this command if I execute this command create index my index on apply number uh, this thing then Oracle is going to create an additional storage area and this additional storage area name is called my underscore index whatever name you give here and then what is going to do whatever the, the 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 table and column name right so that column name will be stored here say for example in this case we store employee employee number so therefore employee number stored here and then say employee number is 10 right the first row is 10 so employee number is 10 and then what is the address of this row and for sake of cooking of this example I just said let's just say the address is 1001 okay and the row address of this row is going to stay here 1001 then we have 20 so 20 comes here and then what is the address of that one let's say the address was 1035 and so on 301046 and so on so, so the, the moment you, you do this thing Oracle is going to create this extra optional storage area called my underscore index and it will store these things okay employee number and row address so now imagine if you want, whenever you going to give the same query which is select star from EMP where employee number is 50 so instead of you looking at this table you are going to first Oracle is going to first look at the index storage area where it will find out the things very quickly because these things are you know less compared to this thing which is huge okay and also we will tell you in the next videos how we can also still make this thing even, even search more quicker uh, to, to get this thing uh, to, to retrieve the information about the row id so is going to go to this area storage area and then figure out what is the employee number we are looking for say so we are looking for employee number 50 then whatever the corresponding row id for that it get the row id and then it directly goes to this row id and fetch this row in this case then fetch this row and this is called index access right you know we access we we access this row by using index okay so that is how you are going to solve this problem by creating an index so now uh, here is some uh, question for you let's say i want to give select star from emp select star from emp where department number is equal to 200 so do you think we are going to use an index so pause for a moment and then uh, so basically the question is how many index will be used how many if we have this scenario where we have created a, a, a index on employee number and we are querying on department number is equal to 200 so the question is do you do you know uh, do, do, do you think that oracle is going to use index here or is going to do a full table scan okay so question is the answer is full table scan or use index okay I hope you already got it so it, it's going to be a full table scan because we have not defined an index on department number we just index is employee number so therefore when we're searching on employee number then only you'll use index not anything else okay so I hope uh, this uh, you know you could you could able to answer this question uh, if not then just read the see the video and then root, do, do some reading on index and then uh, it, it will be fine so now let's basically uh, decide you know discuss what are the issues basically what are the issues involving with indexes so the, the first issue that remember like you now we have to create this extra area the first thing is that additional additional storage that we need so that came from uh, you know basically we need to create uh, basically this thing was not there before uh, what i mean by this you know that's my index structure was not there we have to create that one that's fine 
you know nowadays you know disk is very cheap is very commodity you know is just you know like the the, the amount of uh, benefits is giving like you know the making the query faster uh, that is not storage is just nothing okay this is not a not really a problem not an issue okay the second thing is that uh, somebody has to do this create statement right so after you create a table so somebody has to do this create index so you need to create an index and also you need to create an index on the on the field where you need to query like say for example whenever i ask the question that you know if i if i create an index on employee number i am querying a department number then nothing will happen again the full table scan will is, will go on so you need to figure out where to you know on which column we need to create an index and we need to actually create that index but that is a one time job and then once you understand about your use case about your workload about your data volume and all this thing then that's, that's that can be done okay i would say that's okay is to okay it's not a big deal number 3 is that index maintenance so what is index maintenance so let's for example index maintenance so let's say you want you want to insert another row here to employee table okay so after you create an index so you are inserting an, so another row to called employee number 80 so whenever you do employee number 80 oracle is going to automatically insert another row here on on this index table so you will think about this index as another table okay so this this is your base table and this index table and in the base table we have everything index table we have you have very uh, limited amount of uh, limited number of columns okay so now uh, say if whenever you insert 80 we automatically oracle is going to do something on 80 uh, on this index table uh, it, it will insert another row 80 so whenever you want to delete this thing oracle is going to delete this thing so this is called index maintenance imagine you have a very highly like you know like you know high uses of oltp system where we are we are doing a lot of insert update delete and all this thing and then we are not doing any query so in that case you are basically the index overhead is more than the benefits that we are getting from the query so therefore it may not be a good idea to use index start time or it may be a good idea to disable index start time and whenever you are going to run some reports and all this thing we can enable indexes okay so this is a the huge subject and a lot of importance you know from a performance point of view a lot of people really don't really do that well so what are going to do we are going to create series of videos on indexes and then explain you from some real life examples how this index you know what kind of indexes you are going to use when to use when not to use thank you